Behind me, Norway is building the world's first cruise ship tunnel. In western Norway, along the Stadlandet Peninsula, lies one of the most exposed regions of the Norwegian coastline. The surrounding waters, called the Stadhavet Sea, are also some of the windiest and stormiest in the country, with hazardous conditions 90 to 110 days a year. This creates a dangerous combo for sailors. Since World War II, 33 deaths have occurred from maritime accidents in the Stadhavet Sea. In fact, the conditions are so bad that Vikings would frequently drag their boats over the peninsula to avoid passing by. Nowadays, ships often have to wait to pass through, creating delays and major economic repercussions. Meanwhile, the Stadlandet Peninsula is only two kilometers wide at its narrowest point. As a result, visionaries have imagined building a canal tunnel through the peninsula, allowing ships to bypass the Stadhavet Sea. The concept was first introduced in 1874 by the local newspaper Nordre Bergenhus Amstende. A following article then proposed a railway tunnel across the peninsula, which would raise boats onto wagons and haul them across. However, nothing came to fruition. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, several studies and public debates reintroduced the project. Then, in 2013, the Stadship Tunnel was included in the Norwegian National Transport Plan, with 1 billion kroner set aside for the project. For several years, the Norwegian Coastal Administration researched the project. Then, in March 2021, the Norwegian Ministry of Transport and Communications gave approval for preparations to begin. The Stadship Tunnel calls for a 1.7 kilometer long tunnel traversing the Stadlandet Peninsula, connecting Moldefjord and Kjordsbollen. On each end will be tunnel leads, with a total length of 2.2 kilometers between them. The tunnel will be 49 meters tall and 36 meters wide, with a water depth of 12 meters. As project manager Tarje Skepestad explains, the reason for the size is uh, linked to the, the, the main traffic uh, and the size of the boats that is uh, going around the Stad and the Stad Ocean. So, um, so that's the main, main reason to, to build a, a large uh, tunnel. You need to, to, to be there to understand how big it is, because it's huge. This will allow it to handle ships of up to 16,000 tons, large enough for the Hurtigruten and Kistruten Norwegian coastal cruise ships. To construct the tunnel, conventional blasting combined with drilling will be used. Excavation will start at the top before moving down layer by layer. Meanwhile, the ceiling and walls will be supported with reinforced concrete. While this is being done, temporary cofferdams will be placed on each end of the tunnel to prevent water from getting in. Then, once excavation is complete and all lighting and equipment is installed, the tunnel will slowly be flooded, and finally, the cofferdams will be removed. Once opened, the Stadship Tunnel will be able to transport five ships an hour. However, smaller ships may be allowed to pass side by side, boosting capacity. Are there any challenges associated with, you know, the carrying the larger ships through it, you know, and then getting closer to the edges um, and potentially, you know, like hitting the edges and getting trapped in there? We cannot, uh, we cannot go get into a situation uh, where it's not uh, possible to, to get into the tunnel or, <laughs> or damage something of the infrastructure. So yeah. that's uh, uh, the limit is the size of the boat. Yeah. Um, yeah, it would be kind of an unfortunate situation if something got trapped, you know, like the Suez Canal yeah. incident a couple of years ago. Yeah, that is something we look into. So that will uh, hopefully not happen. Yes. In total, the Stadship Tunnel will excavate approximately 5.4 million cubic meters of blasted rock, equal to 750,000 lorry loads. As Tarja explains, all these uh, rocks from, from the tunnel will be used for um, uh, new uh, industry areas or uh, changing uh, existing areas. So, so we will use all, uh, all the rocks uh, in some, some kind of way uh, when we build this tunnel. In total, the Stadship Tunnel is projected to cost 2.8 billion Norwegian kroner, or 260 million US dollars. It will take five years to construct, and by its completion, will be the world's first full-scale cruise ship tunnel. Further out, it is part of a larger initiative to upgrade Norway's infrastructure, including plans to build a $47 billion superhighway along the Norwegian coast. To get some on-site footage for this video, I decided to fly up to Norway from my home in the US and drive up to the tunnel site. To do this though, I had to buy plane tickets, get a rental car, and book places to stay, all things that required me to input personal information online. 
Unfortunately though, this type of data is frequently taken during data breaches and handed over to data brokers who sell it to anyone, including criminals. Fortunately, today's sponsor, Incogni, helps combat this problem. Incogni reaches out to data brokers on your behalf, requests your personal data removal, and deals with any objections from their side. They also ensure your data stays off the market by conducting repeated ongoing removals. Doing this manually would take years, but with Incogni, you can sit back, relax, and watch them remove your data for you. I use the service myself, and it's so relieving seeing the requests being sent out and completed. And even better, the first 100 people to use code technology at the link below will get 60% off of Incogni. Thank you, Incogni, and now back to the video. Hey guys, I'm currently on my way to the Stadtship Tunnel site. Let's do it. Behind me, guys, is Moldefjord, and right here on the other side of this road through these trees is where one of the tunnel entrances will go through. Now, Let's go drive up down there and climb up the mountain to get a view from the top. All right, guys, I'm at the top of the mountain now. It's a great view. Um, I can definitely see why they're building this tunnel, though. I'm kind of protected by the rocks behind me. But up there, it is so, so windy. So windy, it almost knocked me over. Uh, I can see why this is the stormiest part of, of the Norwegian coast uh, and why ships have trouble passing through the sea over there. Um, it really does make sense why they're rolling this tunnel. Guys, I have descended the mountain, and now I am out on the other side at Kjordsbonen. And behind me, right here, through the mountain, is where the second tunnel entrance will go through. Visiting the tunnel site was a great experience, and has shown really highlighted why they're building the tunnel, and what benefits it will bring. Once finished, the Stadship Tunnel will create a host of benefits for Norway. First of all, it will reduce journey lengths by 56 kilometers and allow for safer travel, preventing maritime accidents and deaths. It will allow for uninterrupted ship travel along the Norwegian coast, benefiting the tourism industry and decreasing transport times and costs. And as Tarja explains, It will help the industry for fish and other local industries, so, so that will be the huge benefit. And also we will save a lot of uh, fuel uh, we go inside instead of out and waiting for the bad weather. This will help create a positive environmental impact. Since its approval in 2021, the Stadship Tunnel Project has advanced. While construction was first planned to begin in 2022, it has been pushed back. After all, the project is a whole new ballgame. Unlike traditional road tunnels, of which Norway has over 1,000, the Stadship Tunnel must withstand seawater, fog, and other conditions. In addition, the size of it is uh, it's a huge challenge because it's never built before. We don't have any uh, standards uh, that we follow. So we need to, to do some more engineering around uh, everything. As a result, the Norwegian Coastal Administration is looking for contractors that can tackle the unique challenge. On January 31st, 2023, they held a conference for potential contractors. Now, they are planning to launch a competition in Q3 2023 and sign a contract by Q3 2024, allowing construction to start by the end of 2024. The project will then be built over several years and finally be opened sometime in the late 2020s. By its completion, the Stadship Tunnel will improve Norwegian ship transport and safety while serving as a model for similar projects all around the world. If you'd like to watch more fascinating videos like this one, it would be amazing if you'd like and subscribe to Futurology. Thanks for watching and see you next time.